I want to know the truth. Is this interesting? More men want to be women. It's, it looks like fun. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to get f***ed <laughs> by a guy? Right? I think it looks like fun. More men are doing it. There'll be no flashing of <laughs> in front of little, little girls. You are a predator! Nah. Show it to your parents and then tell them to take a sh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. Predator! You are a predator! Nah. Ah. Oh. Mate. Welcome to episode number 11 of the Muddy and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We're here with Michael, myself, and Predator Brown. Three. He's a predator. Mm. Look at his f***ing wild hair. He's trying to attract creative kind of women recently, and, and he stalks them, and he does all sorts of f***ed up them. Do something. I cut my finger when I was cleaning, and it was cleaning up. Okay, and <laughs> and and look, it's our week off this week, guys. It's uh, we're having we're having a week off of filming, so we're uh, kind of on holidays. We got the bloody brilliant beers boys coming in today because when does this come out? In two weeks. Will you that be fighting means, by then? That means the it's f- just before the fight. Yeah, this is the, oh, this that is the episode so before good. the fight. So you're listening to this. We're fighting. Oh, in, that's so smart because they'll be on here and days. you can talk about exactly, the fight, bro. Exactly. So Ooh. they're doing the fight as well. Like they're fighting some other guys. So they're going to come on um, at the end. And we've also got um, uh, Matt's dream diary. We've got prank call. We've got um, getting down with the brown. We don't have bamboozled this week because James is on holidays and he's the king of that fucking segment. But man, we got a jam packed f- episode and let's talk about what's been going on, Matt. Because You've been dressed like that for a few days. There ain't a problem that we can't fix. Went to a cosplay uh, int- uh, uh, thing. Yeah, I went to um, Soundwave. You want to? You were being Storm. You're being Storm from the X Men. Yeah. Have you watched the X Men movies? Yeah, yeah all of them. Yeah. Being- oh uh, no, Dark Phoenix. I've never watched. Oh, don't say Dark <laughs> Phoenix. <being> <laughs> <Storm>. <laughs> Oh. I didn't look, it just didn't look that good and I've just never got around to watching it. Oh, oh I've look. got massive news. Guess who's been in contact with us? Alien. Emily. Bullshit. Holy shit, really? Really? Yeah. Emily? Oh, for the voicemail segment. <laughs> yes, yeah. oh, that's exciting. <laughs> oh, He's so lying good. to us. Yeah, I'm lying. Fuck! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there's a lying oh, segment, that done. Was, that's a fucking <laughs> mean lie. That, like, people oh. are hurting. <laughs> oh. you had it. Of, we got oh. done by our rings. Like, in the ring, in your rings, someone's uh, lied to us. Yeah, we right, got done just, last week. Yeah, it's pretty funny. funny. Really? What happened then? Well, you'll see. You'll see in a second. Okay. okay. Well, fucking face crazy your hair, man. Um, we just had a week. It's, yeah, like I said, our first weekend off and it was lots of fun. We've been still having to train our little bottoms off for this fight. I can't wait for it to be over and done so we can go back to a semi-normal life. <laughs> Less than three weeks. It's been raining a lot. If someone was giving you two grand brown, to would suck you... A- no, no, but Sorry. you had to box in the event, but you had to box um, Wendell Saylor. Wendell Saylor. And he's, just done, a, and he's done a line. Fuck off. There is, is, man, that is, I'd rather fight um, uh, uh, Brownie. I'd rather, it, no no way would I fight Wendell Saylor. Shannon Noll, 1500 bucks. Oh, yeah. Shannon Noll, definitely. Okay. But, um, Shannon Wendell Noll's Sa- ripped as fuck now. He's pretty fit. I'd, um, I'd need a bit. More for Wendell Saylor because he has this spark in him that scares me a bit. I reckon, John but I'll do it. And- I'll do it for a certain price because I, th- I feel like he'll pity me. Oh, I, <laughs> I feel like he'll pity me. I think you're just and racist. And you don't want to get oh, in there. With nah, 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 nah. I did not mention the racial card. Well, you didn't have to. I could see it in your white. That's eyes. your opinion, brother. Sorry. Anyway, um, that's that's it. This week, what are we doing this week? We're golfing and we're fucking chilling and training and we're going to be sleeping a lot. I can't wait to well, sleep. Well, you guys are on holidays, we, but I'm not. Yeah. Well, you, that's not on holidays. You are on that holidays if to, you pretend you are. <laughs> that has to go to work tomorrow and all the way through to Friday has to go into his office real early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> disagreements <laughs> and responsibility. He's going to have lots of disagreements with people and they're all going to get him to do work that he doesn't want to do it's going to be miserable shit traffic there home and he's going to come home and he's going to have to cook his own food and pass out straight away because he's so exhausted from the constant stress of having disagreements with people at work and no one doing their job properly and Matt Brown staying where he is in a job he's been at for 15 years he's going to have, end. He's going to have a car accident I think it's gonna be a road rage incident. <laughs> road rage. Dude, I couldn't see dude, you traffic fucking nailed, every day. Dude, like everything you. you said there was very good. <laughs> the only thing you got wrong was the fifteen years. Man, how long I have you been was... there for? Fifty? Nah, it'd be like eight or nine. <laughs> if it had been fifty years. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd love to see Matt in the exact same position that he's in right now when he's like 73. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Wearing the clothes. And, and, like, and, and yeah, just be good to see, eh? <laughs> Man, if you were, do you get like long service leave or something? I've already got some. How many weeks do you get? Uh, no, I think um, it's like five days. Yeah. You no. work for ten years, you get five days. I think I've got forty-five days of long service leave. That's at, fair. at the moment, but it keeps going up. So when I hit ten no, years, I get how, a bit more. I get another hit. But isn't it like what teachers when they do ten years, they get like six months off? I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I think they teachers do. get special. That's pretty like. Yeah, or well maybe yeah. they should do that for wholesome employees too because you guys are busting your ass out there. There wouldn't be any fucking slabs around if, if you <laughs> were Everything would be fucking built on the <laughs> uneven ground. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's still uneven sometimes. Um, I, will say, I will say one thing. I just don't think people... <laughs> I, I reckon they should... I reckon they should do it because not enough people stick around that long, I don't think. <laughs> oh, you, has slabs. anyone else stuck around with you for that whole Man. time? Are you the only, is there a whole new fresh set of employees since you went from when you started to now? Yeah. Is it all fresh? Yeah. Really? There's not one person that has stayed as long as you have? Oh, there's me and another guy. Uh, it's <laughs> me and two guys. And- We've been there the, like a long time. Yeah. Oh man, and we're like the best of friends. But, yeah. But, yeah. but anyway, but, so we yeah. get a week off. We don't have to do anything. But um, yeah, Matt has to go to work. Yeah. All right, let's get into the sponsors. <laughs> oh, here we go, everyone. Here we go. <clears throat> oh man. Let me try and think of an angle to come from here that 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 just to try and convince these pieces of shit to do we something. We can't swear too much. Remember. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, have to, you've I'll got have to use, control yourself. I'll use friendly, colourful language. Well, we can yell. Knives. Manscape has knives. Protect yourself and your family with knives. Go to manscape.com. Use our discount code Fully Actual Twenty. They've got sharp things, okay, to defend your family, but also to groom your hair. There sharp is nothing girl. more. Disgusting than thick, matted black hair covering every inch of your disgusting, sweaty body. Especially Sh- balls. Shave it off, improve yourself, and watch your life improve. Get Just laid. go to Manscaped. Just go and have a look. The link is in our description. Use our discount code once you find something that will help you and your shitty life. You sit there and you do nothing. You sit and don't move, and that's you having a good time. You sitting there not doing anything, that's you enjoying life. Do something other than shit. Do something with your life and shave your body. Do a shit. Do a f- <laughs> Do a shit and get a knife. Carry a knife around with you in public and do a shit. And go to Manscaped. It's for women too. Women carry knives. What's the um the g- 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 <laughs> the lawnmower five point yeah. Women carry knives. Carry knives. If men someone, are violent. If something broke, <laughs> if they broke into your house, you could use it as a defensive weapon. Oh yeah. yeah. So you better lock it in a safe. It's very good. <sighs> Along with that's what we're trying <sighs> to say. It's a good product, um, <laughs> especially for women. Fully actual twenty. <laughs> fully actual oh, twenty shit. is our discount code. Oh, shit. All right, and of course, <laughs> do a shit. AG one. <sighs> Are you waking up in the morning and you wake up in a panic and, panic and you don't know where you are and yes. you're so tired, you I can barely open your eyes and you, all these excuses start flooding to your brain. How the fuck can I get out of work today? How the fuck can I just stay in bed for a little bit longer? And then you rush to the toilet and do a sloppy, sloppy <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, you need AG1. AG1 has 75 vital nutrients and minerals that will firm your shits up good and hard and fix your gut so when you wake up in that panic at least you can slide a firm <laughs> log out before you go to that dead end job that you're a slave to and sit in traffic at least you can live for an extra 10 years and get it done and feel a bit better about it it's a subscription that rocks up at your front door in a powder and you put it in a glass and you drink it and you drink it every day and it does you some good so wake up and do a shit <laughs> 
<laughs> Link in our description and have a look. Oh, it's man. fucking healthy as shit. <laughs> What's our discount code? Fully actual. <laughs> we should change it from fully actual to, to disc. Shit. To disc. <laughs> we'll change our discount code to disc. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Use your discount code DISC for 20% oh. off. <laughs> oh wait, I get it. It's the short it's short for discount. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, disc. it's not as funny now, but that was good. That was good for a bit. Holy shit, disc. Uh-huh. Or yeah, do a shit. I was gonna say we should change it to do a shit. Yeah. But uh, the disc was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a CD, like a disc. <laughs> or D-I-S-K. <laughs> yeah, like a CD. Isn't it D-I-S-C? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so oh. true, everyone. And, of course, the main sponsor is your Oh, yeah, of website. course. Look, 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 look. Subscription. Look. Our, we have our subscription website that funds our entire lives. Matt Brown wouldn't be sitting here right now without it. He'd be... Gone yeah, like yes, that. I'd still it, be right? here. <laughs> you guys support our lives. He would be dead. He'd be gone. He'd be Dude, fucking out of here. It does nothing so for if me. If you want oh. to keep Matt Brown around, please subscribe. There's a 21 day free yeah, trial. We'll be here either like way. 350 videos <laughs> on there that have that are far too fucked for social media. Have a look. Not to mention, we're going to start a fifty thousand dollar giveaway soon, right? And all you have to do is be a member of the website to be in the running. Can so I once sign you up and win that? You're in the running. You you can subscribe, but if you win. It's going to look like we've staged it. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to give you the money if you legitimately win. If you legitimately win, oh I cannot God. give you the money. Yeah, true. We can't do it if it's like a close person. So I guess there's no point in me signing but I'm up. I'm actually to your signed up to website. our website. Like, uh, imagine if I won. Oh, dude. That'd be fair. No, you can't. Imagine how disappointing that would be. Oh, man. Imagine. For everyone, everyone's fingers crossed. Oh, oh I've won. I've won. I <laughs> disc one. <laughs> oh, anyway, man. we're anyway, gonna smell okay. like shit by the time those boys get here. But anyway, yeah. So mm. the website is our is the lifeblood. It's the artery that goes mm. through, through up to our. Uh, it funds still, everything, uh, but except for me. No, so, no, yeah, okay. it funds you. You no, wouldn't be sitting not. here like this. You'd be you'd be off at wholesome screaming at someone. I would be because here because I haven't some filed. Capacity. They haven't filed the papers properly. <laughs> You'd be screaming and getting in their face. And the Are mistakes f- made constantly? The photocopy would um, be jammed sorry. up and you'd be all fucking pissed off because you've told the same guy three times how to use it, but he keeps pushing the wrong fucking buttons and he forgets to keep checking if there's paper in there. <laughs> Has the photocopy machine ever broken? Um, it's a printer now, so they don't have photo. But that breaks, runs out of paper all the time. People, people don't fucking refill the paper, so you go to print something and then it goes, in and there's no paper in the tray! That's how he speaks to people. <laughs> That's how he fucking speaks. That's so cute. And, and, and do you know why he's like that? Because Matt has some really dark demons embedded <laughs> under his brain cavity, right? And they sometimes show themselves in dream form, don't they? Don't oh, they, man, I'm excited. They show themselves in dream form, little glimpses of the man that Matt really is. So I will be reading one of Matt's dreams that he's had recently and let me tell you when i first started reading this i almost vomited Here we you're go. weak matt that's just you projecting do you want some water i've got some okay <clears throat> this is the brown dream diary matt last night's dream made me very uncomfortable i shudder even writing about it I was dressed as a clown. My whole face was painted white and I had a big red nose, lips and red hair. I was running late to a children's party and was starting to panic. I couldn't afford to fuck up another gig. I really needed some cash. I was getting desperate. And to top things off, I really, really needed to piss, but didn't have time to stop. 
to make matters worse, my shitty car kept turning off at every red light and it drove me insane. What was meant to be a 20 minute drive turned into an hour. It got so bad that I would lose my temper and repeatedly smash my head against my own steering wheel. My, my shit car always turning off really infuriated me and as the rage fueled my body, I would cock my head back as far as it would go until the back of my head touched my back and with all my strength I would drive my skull forwards and slam my entire face into the middle of the steering wheel over and over again until I would slip out of consciousness. Cars, ne cars next to me at the lights would gasp in shock as huge bruises formed on my forehead and blushed blood gushed out of my mouth and nose. Despite all of this, I somehow managed to get the car started again and made it to the party. I was late and still really needed to piss. There was still no time. I rush into the party to find the parents who had hired me. I finally find them all chatting with the other parents and stagger over to them. Hey, I'm here to be the clown and shit. Sorry I'm late. Had a few car issues. The parents are visibly taken aback from the damage I had inflicted on myself while smashing my head against my own steering wheel as hard as I could. They stepped back and covered their mouths in shock. Oh, do you need to go to the hospital? You're really bleeding a lot. I had to lie to them. I couldn't let them know that a 43-year-old man clown performer gets violent road rage. Oh, oh no, no, this is just a uh, clown makeup. <clears throat> I can see you've broken your cheekbone. What? No, no, seriously, I'm fine. Please, just let me perform for your kids and you'll see I'm okay. Okay? The parents looked at each other with great concern. Are you certain that's fake? All that blood pouring out of your nose and mouth is really going to scare the kids. Yeah, yeah, it's totally fake. It's all makeup and shit. Kids won't get scared. They'll love it. I'll show you. Before they could object, I turned and wanted to start my performance for the kids so I could get paid. My head was pounding and I felt so drowsy. I was seriously concussed at this point and with every step I could feel that I'd shattered my nose and absolutely destroyed my cheekbone on my steering wheel. I felt the bone fragments move and grind on each other with every step I took. I needed to get this done quick so I could get home and rest. All right, kids. Who wants a lolly? Come and watch Matt the Clown. <laughs> the kids were intrigued and went and formed an audience in front of me. I was woozy on my feet and had double vision from my head injuries. Anyone seen juggling? The kids barely reacted, and one kid sheepishly half raised his hand at the back. Yeah, you gotta love it. I'm going to be playing catch with three balls at once. I reach into my pocket and begin, begin my juggling trick. I tried my best to focus on the balls, but my balance was so off. I managed to get a few juggles going, but then completely missed the ball, and they all spilt on the floor. Shit, I couldn't let the kids know that I had made a mistake. Oh, <laughs> I meant that. It's a race to see who can pick up the balls first. Silence. None of the kids moved, and they just stared at me as if I was a zoo animal. Okay, then I, I guess I'll pick them up. I bent down and gingerly picked up the balls, careful not to lose consciousness. Okay, here we go, kids. Who wants to play hide-and-seek? The little boy whose birthday it was completely interrupted my performance with his shitty hide-and-seek suggestion. Hide-and-seek is no match for my juggling entertainment. I started juggling again, but noticed that all the kids were excitedly getting up and starting a game of hide-and-seek. <clears throat> Realising I was defeated, I stopped trying. Oh, okay, kids. A quick game of hide and seek, and then we can come back and watch me juggle. The kids didn't even acknowledge me and started their game. One of the parents approached me. I really think that you need some medical attention. I don't know who has beaten you like this, but you are safe now. Hmm. This lady was offering me a less cowardly excuse for my facial bruising and seemed sympathetic about it. Oh, yeah. It's my wife. My clown outfit scares her and she attacks me. Oh my god, that's terrible. Here, please, take a seat and we'll get some help. Don't worry about performing for the kids today. We'll still pay you. The concerned parent walked off and I sat down. Wow, that really worked out. I shook my head and smiled gently. It's funny how sometimes life just does something nice. I realized I still really needed to piss, so I looked around and there was no one in sight. So I stepped into a large bush behind me, pulled my little brown out, and released my bladder. Immediately, hot, foamy urine streamed from me. The intense piss smell lit up the air, and my piss stream was so thick and yellow, it looked like hot English mustard. I closed my eyes and relaxed for a second. <coughs> my eyes shot open, and to my horror, I looked down and see that one of the children had used the bush as a hiding spot for hide and seek. My hot stream of urine was battering the and he was attempting to block my stream with his little hands. Hey! What the 
the hell do you think you're doing? I turn around and see the parent from before had returned with an ice pack for my face. I panic and fling my body around to face her. In my heightened state, I forget to put my pissing cock back in my pants and it slings around with my body. Oh my God! Sex offender! That man is a sex offender! I fumble with my fucking dumb clown pants and try to stuff my dick away, but it was too late. The whole party of people had turned to look and saw me stuffing my pissing cock back in my pants as a child covered in my dark mustard colored piss steps out from behind the bush crying. It's not what it looks like. I didn't know. By now all the parents are panicked and were screaming and, and running around. Call the cops. The clown's a pedo. I finally put my dick away and sprint towards my car. There was no explaining myself out of this. I ran and got in. I turned the keys and nothing. Fuck. Not now, car. I look over and see some of the fathers have started running towards me. One of them had a gun. I turn the keys again and the en- engine splutters. I turn the keys one last time and as a father with a gun reaches the passenger side window, he points the gun at me. Get out of the car! I briefly consider my options and see this as an opportunity. The engine of my car suddenly springs to life. You don't have the balls to shebang! The father shoots me and I welcome the hot lead bullet as it pierces through my skull and blends my brain matter before exploding at the back of my skull. My suffering was finally over. I was shot with the whole world thinking I was a sex offender. And then I woke up and it was a wet dream. Is that a concern of yours? Worrying about what people think about you? I really think you need to talk to someone about that road rage though, dude. dude imagine fucking doing that on a driving wheel. As far back as you can. Picture your head touching your back. And then banging forward as hard as you fucking can at the lights. I think we should go to a bong break. All right. We're going to go to a bong break and we'll be right back with the great debate and much, much more. <laughs> Great debate between me. This is the great debate. Great, late, late. Yeah, that's good. That rhyming. <laughs> and this is a segment where Michael and Matt go head to head and debate on some of the most controversial topics that are currently plaguing this world. Now, it is important to remember that the views that Michael and Matt are about to express are only jokes, okay? They are only trying to win the debate. These are not actually their actual personal opinions. So if you are easily offended, move on, okay? This is not for you if you are easily offended. Do you understand? So don't go, oh, okay, no, I'm not easily offended, and then start listening. Oh, he can't say that! He can't say that! That's you. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! Skip ahead! Because the, what they're going to say right now is not what they truly think and feel. It's just to try to win the debate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I, I okay. hate not knowing. Oh, man, All I right. hope it's... Now you've got me worried. Is this one really bad? Yeah, you can tell in his fucking laughter yeah. that he's got something up his sleeve. All right, today's topic. Do you guys want to figure out who's for and against first or do you want to hear the topic first? No, I'll hear the topic because then the for or and after a bit is just so much more worse. Okay, today's topic is trans no. people should have their own toilets. Wow, this one's highly, highly... We're going to get demonetized oh, straight shush. away. We are. Why? Because they don't like that shit. It's just, I don't know, it's just pointless. They, 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 it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a healthy debate. There is nothing that is undebatable. Thank I, you. I, don't, I didn't say that. I said we're going to get demonetized for doing it. Look, if not, if not, we need to be able to speak about things, okay? If we live in a society where too, we're too scared to even just talk about something, then we are scared. Cowardly scum. No, I didn't say I was and scared that is to talk censorship, about it. And we will not stand for it. I just want to make sure we make enough money to survive. Uh, I think you're not thinking about this clearly. Look, it's the use of a toilet, nothing else. Okay? We're not, a, a, we're a, not a toilet. 
We don't nothing breaking, else. We're not breaking boundaries and controversy on our podcast. It's just not. no. Yes, we are. That's yes, why we'll get. Here that's we why we'll get taken down. Matt, you, two weeks ago, you were arguing that yeah, women belong I in the didn't kitchen. Didn't want to do it. Okay. So how is that any any less than this? You just it's a little bit easier to get away with, I think. Look, the women. Look, we power ahead. We we will not adhere. We're cutting all this to this, by the way. this to this societal pressure. All right, I'm not standing for it. It is a it is a comedic debate, and we're talking about something that we're allowed to talk about. No one will stop us from saying words ever. Well, it's the great oh, debate. Hey, Connor, you're gonna have to cut. I like a whole bunch of us debating that. Why? Because oh, we say cut like we, me when I say cut. Yeah, that. We, we've said things that are just super yeah, yeah. Shit. Some of those things, but it's good to have. Yeah, good, I know, it, it adds validation the to the speech, fact that, the that you guys really don't want to do this. It adds mm. to the fact that you, the it shows was, that you guys don't want to do this. It just add, makes it less controversial leaving that in. Trust me, this will be fine, boys. All right, just fucking trust me. Trans people get their own toilet. That is the argument today. Now, who's going to pick a pocket? Which pocket map? Just grab one, whatever you want. No, I'm not because I'm I, that one. You want this one? Yeah. I don't even know what they are, to be honest. <laughs> Show me the other one. <laughs> That's oh. just four. That is four. <laughs> that is four. That argument. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'll win. <laughs> okay, so the what's the is, what is it? They can or they can't. the The argument is trans people should have their own toilet. Oh, yes. Then so, he's gonna look like the fuckwit. That's fine. I'm for it. I'm on their side. Well, it, it can be perceived either. Either could be bad because they might not want their own toilet. And they want their own toilet. Oh, wait, hang on. They want their own toilet. And yeah, no, no, that's what Michael will be. No, you will be saying that trans people should have their own toilet, that they shouldn't be allowed. Oh, in. yeah, okay. Do you understand? Right, I'm going to have some fun with this one. All right. <clears throat> Four gets to go first, so you've got a minute and a half, Matt Brown, to tell us why trans people should have their own toilet. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I say I don't want to do it now. Oh, come, come on, man! I can't man. do it. It's too. Why? I don't want to do it. Dude, and you're just, fucking the way you, me. the way you look right now. Everything is just fucking perfect. Please. I, they need to have. Yeah. A so you, you arguing that trans people should, should have, have their own toilet. bathrooms instead of instead of trans men going into men and trans women going to women's. You, you're arguing that if you're trans, you should go into a trans toilet. Okay, that's your argument. And Michael's okay. against that. Michael's saying they should be able to go whatever tour they want to go into. Okay. All right? All okay. right. Three, two, one, begin. All right. The reason they should have their own tools is because we can't agree that which one they should use, right? No one can make a decision. Well, you they can. Shut up. We've got people who want, to, who want them to be allowed to go to, the, to the, um, the sex that they think they are. And they were people who want to go, want them to go to the ones they were born with, right? So they can't decide. So I think it's perfectly fair that we give them their own toilet and then there'll be no arguments. There'll be no flashing of willies in front of little, little girls and there'll be no men afraid to go to the toilet well, with something they're uncomfortable with. Well, what do you think that, that trans are such, make up such a small percentage of the population that now we have to include an entire new toilet? in, in So restaurants and everyone has to have male, female and now trans toilets. Isn't that a bit impractical? Do you want to run this debate? No, I'm just, I'm just posing some, some curious questions to keep your the, points coming. The point is... The point is that uh, the gr the population's growing. More men want to be women. It's, it looks like fun. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to get fucked by a guy, right? I think it looks like fun. More men are doing it. I think though, just to keep the peace, because we're all about peace in this world, we need to have a have a toilet of our own. And what what if I put I'm this, trans by the way? <laughs> what if I put this forwards to you? What if someone says that they are a Whale, on, whale, and they would like a a swimming pool within to sh to, to shit in. What and, were they born as? It doesn't matter. They think. Well, that they're then they go to whale. what they were born with if they're identifying as a whale. Shut up. Okay. Look, okay. If they identify, there, we're your, talking about time there. Oh. All right, Michael. I'm gonna get fucking destroyed. 
Nothing you said was like outrageous and at all. Okay. All right. Um, Ready, Michael? You're a bottle. In three, two, one, go. Okay. I have three points, and my third point is that we. I have two points. <laughs> okay. So go on. The first point is you three bathrooms to two bathrooms. More money. Inflation is through the roof. We shouldn't have to pay for more shit. We can just let. Everyone just do have the women and the men's and go into those. If you think you're a woman, go in that. If you're so, a so what if what if uh, what if a um, me I just go? Oh, I feel like a woman today, and I go into a woman's toilet, and I'm hammer drunk, and I'm I I I I want to go in there, and there's like women getting changed solely to keep it at two bathrooms because three's more. What costs more yes. money to build? Yes, you should be able Is it, to because it costs more money to build. Probably. Is that it's what like you're saying? Inflation. Is that what you're trying to say? It's money and government and funds. And also That's my point too is do you have you ever play, played GTA three? Like the third one? We in when it's like New York. The first three D game. You're Russian? Yeah, I don't know. You're like Tommy. His name's Tommy. There's missions where you have to meet up at the toilets underground. It's like a famous scene in the game. Male and Female toilets. Is his time up? Yeah, not yet. But a quick question though: if if anyone can use anyone's toilet, then why don't we just all have one toilet? Wait, no. Stay on no, this. That point. even more money. Stay on this point. You want to make sure that they get to the right toilets? Is that what you're saying? I reckon that's a great idea. So one toilet for all. Yeah, keep it, and then, and then halve money. Time. So one toilet for all. Okay, I'll I'll speak on the three stupid points that you fucking made. All right, so okay. Michael's saying that not only yeah, that, I heard that, 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 just just end. let me clarify for the listeners. So Michael's saying that not only that there should un- there should be two toilets. That fuck it, if everyone just feels like going wherever they mm. feel like going, they should I just piss have one toilet everywhere. You know that. Like I just piss on you know it, trees. I just I've pissed in this couch <laughs> like. Your time's up. You shouldn't even. There should be zero Stop toilets. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Sorry. All right. Matt's rebuttal. You got a minute starting now. All right. Zero reckon. toilets. Yeah, that's right. You said, oh, anyone Sorry. should just go to anyone. Okay. All right. Picture this. You've got a man who's a rapist. Oh, this is going to get fucking demolished. Should I just keep going? <laughs> all right. You've got a man who's a rapist. All right. And he dresses up and says, oh, I'm suddenly a woman. And then he goes in there and he rapes a woman, comes back out. I'm a man. Oh, wait, one, one of them have toilets separate just for the sex offenders. A sex offender toilet That's and a then a idea. toilet for everyone else. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Sex offenders now get their own toilet. Four toilets, more construction, more money to the economy. We keep the plumbers in and the time. Job. Wow. Okay. Look, lucky there's rebuttals. That's for sure. <laughs> oh. All right, your final rebuttal, Michael. <laughs> Let's Three, see what stone gibber shit you come out with. One, begin. Okay, I've got... Unlimited reasons <laughs> for why this <laughs> argument will win, and you'll see why. I'm glad I've got a wig on. Now, <laughs> I'm going to change my answer. This is the first time ever I've changed views into a, something different on a <gasps> debate. So I'm going from zero is what I finalized. I reckon you should have infinity toilets. And that's why my reasons never run out, bitch. <laughs> so you're saying... Everything should be a toilet. <laughs> yeah, dude. Every Everything is a, a toilet. toilet. So <laughs> the person doesn't have to move. We just have to be a toilet. <laughs> total, total, yeah, and heaps of toilets everywhere. Well, and, and on Matt's point, that would help the economy because we're just building toilets constantly. So we're sort of getting, we're, we're, sort we're of coming together there. To agreeing with me. All right, so we, all right, and time there. All right, so in a way. We, you agreed with me. See, so this is one of those magical moments, people, where two people with differing opinions have had a conversation and we've reached a compromise, right, and now everyone's happy and we've realised that maybe it's best to just build an infinite, an, an unlimited amount yeah, of toilets. Yeah, for, for everything. So uh, and every, then, like a male, a female, a trans, a sex offender, everyone gets a toilet. Yeah, it's also, fucking open every toilets. Thi- everything is a toilet as well. Yeah, you don't have to use that toilet if you don't want. You can swap around. Yeah, you can also, shit and piss anywhere. You can anywhere. do a shit. Do a shit. Do a shit anywhere you want, bro. Every single seat will have a toilet attached. I can't yeah. believe the outcome of this is to do a shit. Yeah. Dude. Bro, that's hectic. Holy, I never thought that great debate would end in us agreeing that everyone needs to do just a do a shit. shit. Do just a, do a shit. 
Yeah. Film it. Oh, film it if you're doing shit. Just, yeah. <laughs> and film it. doing shit. Or oh, can someone film themselves doing shit <laughs> yeah. and send oh, it to our phone? Send it to us. We have actually got, we have got a fair bit of that already. Fuck, so and well that done. is a great debate, boys. There you go. We've come to a, a compromise. I'm so glad. Shake hands. Shake hands. Fucking hell, mate. See, yeah. see how it's controversial, scary to talk about. Boom, solution, right? So, yeah, the solution is is so good too. It, it's money. It's injecting money. There's toilets everywhere, so it's also convenient. Freedom. There ain't a problem that we can't fix. fix. We can do it in the mix now. Do Matt, a shit, Matt. Sorry. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's move on. Okay, that was outstanding. <laughs> yeah, wow, we fucking changed shit. Hey. Next, now we don't have a um, jingle for this either, but um, it's one of our f- fucking brand new spanking segments. And Matt loves pounding. Pr- oh, Shut man, up. He loves Is this the around. stupid fucking question? Oh, here, it's time to get down oh. with Brown. It's time to get down with Brown. I've got it's something time to say. To get down. I've got something it's time to say. To get down. You it's need time your to get down you with your Brown. Glasses. I've got something to say, and and I want everyone to hear me, please. I want to know the truth. Is this interesting? You want to hear real deep shit from us? Because it just seems to go real deep. I'm sure there's some things are going to be funny, but I feel like we get too deep. And I want to know if people are really interested in this. Because obviously I was quite honest about my family last yeah, in look, the last man. episode. You know the, I think it's it ain't weak to speak. He's got them on. How did your parents meet and fall in love? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. this is going to be great. For you guys. All right, all right. So the question is today about Matt's parents, right? We always seem to talk about them. I think they've really influenced Matt's. We put them at the back of state. Them, them. All right, here, pass it back. Yep. All right. So, <laughs> what was the question again, Matt? Can you just repeat it? Um, how did your parents meet and fall in love? Okay. All right. So let's let's just touch on that quickly. So. Um, how influential was your parents' relationship to your happiness while you were growing up as a little brown boy? What? How influential was your parents' relationship to your happiness? That when wasn't you were the question. Bra- so I'm not fucking I'm answering I'm it. I'm getting to that. You psycho. I'm getting to it. Okay, look at this. Look at this exhibit. No, I'm sick of it. You put, on your glass, you put on your glasses and you become this psychopath therapist. Just, let's Takes him back to Bali when he out. fucking threatened us all in the pool. It's okay. beautiful. It's you beautiful. Were on drugs. Go. He was feel, on drugs. Feel your feelings. Okay. Now take a deep breath in. Just say. And I want you to think back to when you were a little brown boy. You looked up at your parents. Did you see stability when you looked at their relationship? Yes. Or did you see fear? No, I saw stability and love. How did they exhibit it? Their kiss? I don't have a lot of memories of them obviously hugging and kissing and fucking like you want. Did you ever see like your father put the hair of your your mum's hair behind her ear? No, I don't think so. Ass slaps? Maybe. I don't know. Did you ever see him kiss with tongue? I, I had I have memories of walking Sorry. into the kitchen and they'd be like embraced and, and kissing. And you liked that? That made you feel good and happy and special? Yeah. Who and did then- the dishes more? Dad. Oh, okay. And mummy cooked? I think so. All right, so how did they meet? I might butcher this and my sister might be like, no, that's wrong. Um, but from my memory, uh, they um, they both worked at the Melbourne Water Board. Do you guys know what the Melbourne Water Board is? Yeah, it's the water board that's down in Melbourne. Oh, yeah. That's fucking very yeah. spot on, Marty. Well done. Um, so... <laughs> That is like a, it's like a government entity, like Energex, like not really government, but kind of government, you know what I mean? Anyway. It's kind of like concrete, but water. Yeah. And um, dad worked in the section that he worked in and mum worked in one of the offices. I think she was receptionist. Oh my God, it was a work love story. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. And I think he walked in there and uh, and saw her a few times and mum thought he was a surfer because he had long blondish brownish hair. So he thought he was a bit of a surfy, <laughs> but he wasn't. <laughs> He was like, like a, he was like a ten pin bowler. <laughs> um, that's so good. Yeah, he was into ten pin bowling. That's like bri- that's like uh, cards, basketball cards. Yeah. <laughs> so you see where it comes from, right? <laughs> and um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, they were, were chatty, and he asked her out on a date. I don't know where they went though. Either. Were they both really attracted to each other and had that initial animalistic spark where their lust was so intense yeah. they want to rip each other's clothes off and fuck everywhere? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know dad's side, but I do know. Yeah, your mom you can tell mum was like that because she was like, oh, he's surfy. 
Do you reckon um, really they went bowling in the first week that they were together? Fuck, I don't know, but I reckon like there was definitely a bowling date very early. Do you on. compare your relationships to your parents' relationship and and want a relationship similar to theirs, or do you want something different because you knew you know that they broke up eventually? Um, I don't. No, I don't want the same as theirs. I want my own, but I do want to have. Like, um, like the the upbringing that they gave, like, uh, like me and my sister. I want to be that type of parent, the same that they were. How, you were, how were they? Oh, I definitely. Hey, were they really? They nice? were just they they were loving, they were respectful. They told they told us how it was. There was no like, there was no fantasy bullshit. They were very loving. They were very right and wrong. Did they you were, have a swing very set in your backyard? Um, I think we did at one point, but I think it disappeared very early. Did, did you it? have a trampoline? We went to parks. Yes. Got okay. a trampoline for Christmas very cool. early on. I think I was about five. Did your dad ever hit you? Before I get there, there is a good story about the trampoline. He actually, for Christmas, this psycho took it and he put it all together in the living room. So when we came out, it looked like Santa had fucking put it in the living room and we got to open all our presents on the trampoline. Oh, so they lied to you. Your parents lied to you about that. About what, Santa? Santa. Um, for a little bit, but they were very honest early on. Like They were like, no, Santa's not real. They didn't want Santa taking the credit for the gifts. Yeah. They, yeah no, when no, no, when are you meant Santa, to tell but the I kids? Think, I think Dad liked eating the fucking biscuits we left out for him and the reindeers, <laughs> so he wanted to keep that lie going a bit longer, so he got some nibbles. Fucking reindeer biscuits, Sucking down the milk. Ten. <laughs> um, what was the question? How afterwards? old were you when Santa, when you realized Santa wasn't true? Oh, 15? Nah. <laughs> well, tell me a time your father hit you. Uh, I've got a good one that I always go to when someone asks this. Uh, so we, at one point, we, we had a van, like similar to the, um, the Marty and Michael van. And um, we were driving and it was like my dad, I was in the middle and there was my sister. And I was like picking on my sister. Did you ever pick on your oh, sister? Oh, yeah, I've heard this Michael? story, but continue. Yeah, yeah. You picked on your sister. Yeah, yeah. Lot, she's, I picked on her yeah. so much that she ended up leaving the family. Yeah. So well, I'm picking on her. She's like, stop, stop. And dad was like in a very irritable mood. And um, <laughs> and he was and he's he warned me. He gave me a warning. He's a loving father. He gave a warning. Warnings are good. Yeah, warnings are good. Warning, warning, <laughs> warning. Dude, it was literally like that. And he said, he said, he said, stop. He said, stop screwing around. He didn't say fuck. He said like screwing around. I feel like or oh, mucking around. He was like, and he goes, he goes, he says, don't or, or you'll get it. And I was like, okay, I'll test that theory. I'll test it out. And uh, anyway, so I'm sitting there and I'm like this, like. Yeah, you know, my knees up because I'm in the middle, and I pissed. Just breathing, and I pissed. <laughs> her. <laughs> and I pissed her off. I pissed her off one more time. You grabbed her tit. I tried, but I pissed her off, and he hammer fisted my leg, like oh. right there. So it was like this. It was like dead right leg, there. and he did it so fucking hard. It was like an instant lump in my leg, and I and I was like. Aah! How old were you? 18? Um, I 18 don't know. or 19? No, no, no. It was definitely primary school. <laughs> that did not change. 19. He's driving him to TAFE. Yeah. He doesn't even live at home. <laughs> Matt's driving. <laughs> and he, um, yeah, he got me good. And, oh, I, and I was fine. It was just, thank God it was so close to home because I don't think I could handle like get, staying in that car. I was, was, I was annoyed, but I was upset. I didn't want to get hit again. And then you Dad went home upset. and then watched movies and that was your escape from your father's abusive hand. Indiana yeah, Jones. So. And, that's the, yeah. and that's getting down with Brown today, everyone. So um, it, let us know if you enjoy uh, not finding out little pieces of... Um, Matt Brown's um, life. Did you guys ever get hit? <laughs> I think so. I think I got a few slaps. Yeah, you just got a few slaps. I don't think. Well, Dad, do you have any good maybe stories? Not. I think no, your your your, I, were, your parents were police. They were like, no, we'll get charged. I've blocked them out. I can't really. Did remember. you ever get hit? Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah I used to get. Surely hit. there were some stupid German punishments. Oh yeah, the, the Germans don't mind a bit of um a bit of punishment. Do they lock you in a in like a chamber? No, I never got locked away. Just yes. force you to eat cured meat. But I would just be alone a lot. So that was kind of <laughs> like being locked away. Just me and me and Rob around the house. Oh, man. <clears throat> did Dad strike you at all? I can't you see mean? your mum doing it. No, mum's mum's mum did it too. Really? Just ass hits. My mum was psychological, so if I did something bad, she'll go, I'll get the wooden spoon, and she'll run to the kitchen, and she'll move her hands around in the drawer, and you could hear it, and then you're like, fuck, and you like ran because you just didn't want that wooden spoon. Did you ever just step up and go, I challenge you? <laughs> K 
Come on, bitch! <laughs> Get right in her face. <laughs> no way. Pick no the spoon up. up. Mum was too scary. <laughs> Mum was scary. Yeah, I remember right. getting flicked. Flicked in the ear from like one of my dad's mates. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, Who was crazy. that? Smart. Nah, that guy. No, nah, it was pretty fun. Well deserved. As I said, we we're trying to convince him like as he was talking to another person's wife. <laughs> like, ooh, you're cheating on <laughs> blah blah's mom. Yeah, I remember that story. Oh, yeah, that would be so fucked if a He's kid was having a good conversation. <laughs> you're making it really awkward. <laughs> With his son. <laughs> <laughs> Flicks in the air, smarten up. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, very good. All right. Good so time. that's getting down with the brown, everyone. And if you have anything you want brown to tell us about, leave a comment in the comment section because we love to learn more about the brown and peel back his many layers. His layer, he's a layered mud cake. Garlic. Garlic mud cake. <laughs> 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 Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh. Use a five star review on Spotify, please. Please keep that shit coming, guys. It keeps the whole fucking. It keeps the keeps whole the train churning. And gravy. Okay, so if you if you like the podcast, please just you don't have to do much. Just a like and a comment and, and subscribe. And a subscribe. Hit fucking smash that subscribe button. Share it even. Share it to some, five star review share it to on somebody. Spotify. Show it to someone or something. All right, this, we're not asking for a lot. We we'll sit here and fucking do drugs and talk. Shit. But all we want is you to click a button once or twice. Show it to your parents and then tell them to take a shit. It's time for the lying segment. Matt, hit that fucking button so hard. I don't want it to be breathing after. Oh, should we? Go. We lie to you oh, and your we gotta halve this. friends. They don't, don't trust us. Oh, look, there's the Mercedes Benz. Not. We lie to you. Again and again. They don't trust us. Oh, look, there's a Mercedes Benz. Not. Not. Fuck, that's good, man. <laughs> that's this, so shit. This is a segment where we just lie. We call someone and we lie to them. Greg's on holidays. Me, Marty, Luke, and James are playing golf tomorrow. So there's no places for golf available. I'm going to lie to him because he's on holidays this week. He sh should be able to play and tell him that there's a spot for him to play golf with us. He's going to get very excited and then we're going to tell him, no, we're already full. Sorry, mate. Oh, but they you do don't have a spot. So this is it. This is prank calling Greg. He loves golf, by the way. So he'll be so excited about this. Here we go. <laughs> Greg. Hello, this is Greg. Hey, dude, how are you? Oh, my goodness. This has got to be a podcast? Not at all, dude. I've actually got some good news for you. Okay, good. I've got the kids in the car, too, by the way. Yeah, sweet, dude. That's all right. Well, I was just checking since you're not leaving till Wednesday, right? Yes. So, potentially, could you come play golf with me, Marty, Luke, and James tomorrow? When... At one Tema, so it's not far from you. One Tema, yeah. yeah. What, what time? I reckon like ten forty-five. Yeah. Eighteen yeah, holes. I've got it booked for uh, four of us. I don't think Luke can make it, so it's going to be me, you, James, Marty, and yeah. That's why I was like, "Fuck yeah. you." Yep. I reckon. I, sh I reckon. I reckon I'm a good chance. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that's I reckon awesome. I'm a good chance. I, I think I. Um, yeah, I can't see why not. I've got a coach in the afternoon. Like, oh, don't care. We're lying. We're lying to you, Greg. We're lying to you. It's all a lie. There is no golf tomorrow. Are you lying? It's a lie, Greg. There's no spot for you. You've been lied to. Are you lying? I'm so sorry, You've been lied to. You're on the podcast. This is a lie. We're lying to you. I know I know that you love golf, so I'm sorry. Oh, he was so you excited. Yeah, I know. We're just... Yeah, I know. That one's a bad one because it was like a golf course near you, so it was like so doable. <laughs> even, Marty, even Marty thinks it's funny. Oh, oh, I hate you so much. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, but anyway, you sorry. I'm going to you guys ever again for anything. <laughs> anything. Even oh. straight away. Sheesh. Straight away, I was like. No, this is the podcast. No, no, no. Seriously, dude. No, 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 no. That's exactly right. That's Greg's wife. 
I'm gonna go. Oh, sorry, uh, dude. Like, we you, love dude. you, mate. We love you. We love you, dude. I'm, gonna bu- I'm building a golf simulator in the house. <laughs> that's a lot. Oh, that's oh, sorry. But oh, right, before. Anyway. Uh, before you go, we're going to pretend you just hung up there. But when you hang up, oh, guess what? It is actually on. It's a lie. That He's we're not going to believe you now. So Marty <laughs> can't gonna... play. So there's a spot available yeah, for you. 10:45 seriously... tee off. I'm not no, playing. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. You're not doubled. <laughs> you're not doubled, Mike. I'm going now. Oh, okay, well, yeah, you'll, have later. Later. you'll have to call him later. You'll have to call him later. I have to get you. See you, dude. So. <laughs> oh, fuck oh. Oh. oh, Greg thought he was going to have a fun, good day. <laughs> but now, shit, man, his wife really thought that was funny in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Be happy. Oh. Holy shit. All right, guys. Oh. We're going to have a bong break and we'll be right back with the voicemail segment and the prank call and the bloody brilliant beers, boys. And it is time, everybody for the voicemail segment where you send in your stories, your messages, your pictures, your videos to 04666023. Hit it, Brown. We're going to play some now. Rings. All right. We got a fair bit of ringing with your rings Rings. this week. Oi, boys. Oi, it's me. Oi, you're not going to believe it, but I was at work. And I did a shit. Like, no, nah, like, I, I was there and I pulled my pants down and I everyone was just staring at me and I just did a shit. So that's important. <laughs> this is what we've started. Hey, guys. I'm that fucking guy who leaves them real shit jokes. But um, I actually thought of a story from a while ago when I was 16. Uh, I smoked crack. I used to smoke crack and fucking, I had a mate and we we're the same age and his dad would have smoked crack at his house and fucking pretty crazy thinking back on it. But um, one time we were awake at his house for like three days and on the, like the third or fourth day, I thought that one of my nuts had split in half because like crack will dehydrate the shit out of you and your nuts will go like real purple. But yeah, I literally was like pleading to my friend like, bro, we got to go to the fucking hospital, bro. Like my fucking nut split in half. Like, you know, and then like, yeah, I ended up, next day I ended up just going home, like sleeping it off and I was fine. But yeah, I thought my nut was split in half from smoking too much crack and staying awake for three days. Fucking hell. Anyway, all right, fellas. <laughs> this is a fucking great story. <laughs> He's not... <laughs> Fucking Man. crazy laugh from smoking crack. Imagine going to the hospital and being like, I've smoked too much crack. My nuts cracked in half. Oh, yeah. Hi, boys. It's Kurt again here. Oh, so it's not. Uh, this week you played my uh, story okay. about chlamydia on uh, the chlamydia story. Uh-huh. I just want to say, I fucking lied to you. <laughs> oh, gotcha. fuck. So, look, something really important is we got sent a dude who fucking got an apple over his foreskin. We've already told them this. No. We did. But like actually. Well, we got another one. <gasps> no fucking way. That wasn't an apple, Brown. That was a ping pong ball. This is now an apple. So this oh is very. Oh, I don't want to. It's, sh- it's so shocking to look at. You know what? We're going to put this image on the very. Oh, we're not allowed to, are we? Mm. Give no, us a look. Allowed to. God, no, no, no. That. I mean, on the end of our website video. He probably doesn't want But yeah, it's, it, we can't put someone's dick yeah. on. That's unbelievable. Have a look. A, there was an apple under a foreskin. Look at Matt's face. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> so that's cool. You dick. Like, that's something different. Wow. Dude, I wonder what that dick looks like with, without an apple it's in it. It's impressive, but you're in. That is now, very impressive. Look, we'll go to that for international fans. It has opened up. Our number is the same: zero two three zero three. And that, if you use that now, WhatsApp overseas people can send us shit. Here we go. Hey guys, I've got a mate, and I promise it was a mate. 
who'd been going out with this girl for about three months and was meeting her parents for the first time. Her parents were going to cook dinner for them uh, at their house. <laughs> so he goes over, hadn't eaten, I think, much or anything throughout the day because he didn't want to be full and not eat the food they'd made. Um, and a girlfriend's dad is drinking quite a lot. So my mate thinks, well, I'm not a pussy. I've got to drink at least as much as him. Uh, and gets absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> then halfway through dinner, my mate goes, oh, my, like, fuck, I'm going to be sick. So runs off to the bathroom. And he's got his head in the toilet bowl. And then he goes, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to shit myself. So starts turning around, goes, no, I'm going to throw up. Long story short, ends up vomiting on the floor, shitting yeah. on the floor, passing out in his own shit and vomit. <laughs> and the girlfriend, that uh, parents had to break in the room because he was unconscious and not responding and clean up all his shit. Oh, my <laughs> God. I don't think they're still together now. <laughs> yeah. That would be so embarrassing. Man, man. that, that so... one is hectic. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking matching it with a dad to try and be fucking <laughs> getting so fucking That twisted. does sound oh, like so a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, that I wonder what the first... reminds me of bloody one of our. Remember on the Europe trip when bloody I won't say his name, but a mate of ours, we were at a bar and he'd done a bunch of <clears throat> um, white oh, powder, yeah. and he, he so he sprinted, sprinted to the toilet, and he, he was shitting as he was vomiting at the exact same time, shitting, vomiting, pissing. Yeah, it was all it, at the same time, and. It was, and then the cleaning, like I had the the I kept the stall open because I just wanted to see it, and it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and then just as I was yeah, doing that, the, right. the cleaner walks in and just sees our mate vomiting, <laughs> vomiting all over the floor while he's pissing himself, laughing and shitting. Oh man, it was good. Yeah, that was a fun night. I wonder what that guy's first like thought was when he woke up from being unconscious to see like the family is standing over him. Disc. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, this one gets dark. All right, I'm doing a voice uh, message thing. Okay, so basically he, he was <laughs> first on the scene to uh, Hurricane Katrina where there mm. were lots of bodies. He's a paramedic. His hurricane. job was to go find dead bodies. Oh my god! This is my. This buddy. is about the aftermath because in Paris, and he got me deputized, so I was able to go help. Can you like, fucking start it um, again? We, we were all like attached to like a national guard, what are you like doing? Louisiana Let's National to Guard point. unit, and our job was to go house to house and see if there was any dead bodies. And I remember this place we went to. Uh, it's called Lakeview. It's um, it's like a upper end. It's a higher. It's wealthy people basically. So we were there, and the first time that I ever saw a dead body was here. It was actually three of them because when we knocked the door down to go in, we uh, there was there was three bodies. We found them, and they had basically they had drowned because Lakeview was underwater, and um. They couldn't get out. They didn't have access to that, or they had an attic, but they 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 were too old to get there. Is what my understanding was after the fact, because once you find out like who they were, but um yeah, it was old people, and uh, it was three of them, two females and a male, and uh, I just remember the smell, dude. They were bloated. They were waterlogged. It was just fucking horrible. Like right now, talking about it, I can smell that smell like it is something that never leaves you Jesus. and i mean it didn't bother me seeing dead people it was just the fucking smell dude it's terrible like picture like the fussy boys segment <laughs> whatever michael's bitching about about food being <laughs> nasty or smelly or whatever that's like if if he smelled this you're gonna watch him throw up for days so yeah and then i also told matt i said um i'll do this for thank you dude Fuck me. Next yeah, podcast, yeah. I'll send it. But um, the first time I ever got to air somebody out. Oh yeah, well, that's right. This gets quite dark. So the next story is going to be him telling us the, the time he killed someone. Yeah. So he's a military guy. Oh my god. He's got some fucking banger stories. But yeah, that one. Um, there he you also go. collects so cards. We he's do, a legend. Uh, it's my personal favorite. If you have dead body finding stories, that would be lovely. As long as they're not too traumatic for you to relive. Like, well, you explain Only if you're willing to share. 
All right, guys, we're going to have a fucking big... F if you want to continue to send us shit like that, that's perfect. Send it in to 0466602303. We have WhatsApp as well. It's the same number. All right, bloody, we'll have a bloody chat here. We even answer the bloody phone sometimes. It's bloody crazy. We're going to go and suck a fucking fat bong down our fucking throats and then we'll be right back with the bloody brilliant beers, boys. So Before that, tuned. we're calling Emily. I don't give a fuck. All uh, right, look, we're going to call Emily first. The person you are calling <sighs> is not available. Please leave a short message and it will be sent as an audio message. Wake up to yourself. Wake up. This will not end unless you speak to us. This isn't all about you. It's about us. All right. We'll be right back with the bloody brain beers, boys. All right, guys, we are back with the bloody brilliant beers, boys. We got Klutz and Das. Das or Darcy? Oh, either or. Doesn't Dars. matter. Yeah, Das. Yeah. All right, now you boys have your own podcast, the bloody brilliant beers Correct. podcast. And a, I think a lot of our uh, listeners uh, know about you guys as well. You boys are full-time podcasters now, right? Yeah. yeah, correct. So Darcy's been doing it for about a year. Um, and then I jumped on board about November last year. Uh, I've got out of the trenches of the plumbing business, so yeah. couldn't be fucking happier. Yeah, yeah. So, so how many podcasts are you guys doing, like, a week? We do three three a week. Yeah. Three oh, hours. wow. Yeah. And that That'd every so week, good. like, you don't miss a week? Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've missed a week. And, like, we even did over Christmas this year. So probably since yeah. Chrissy last year was the last time we had, like, more than probably a week where no episode was coming out. Do you so. just like back them up? Like film fucking shitloads and then chill for a bit? Or no, just, no. We, we come in like usually like Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So do one a day on those days and then Darcy will crank out the edit that night and Fuck, pump man. them out. And then if we're going to go away for holidays, like Darcy went to Bali last year. So we planned a couple of shows around that yeah. and mm. get banked it up a bit and stuff like that. Yeah, oh. Fuck, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's so <laughs> nice. It'd be so nice if it was only podcast. I know. That does, it is <laughs> yeah. a dream. It is it good. Is good. It is like, no, no pain. Drink beers and yeah, chat yeah. shit. Yeah. Christmas okay. this year was great. I think we spent like... It was probably like 12 days without going to the CAC Center. Yeah. I think that's the longest in four years that it's been. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It was quite nice. Yeah, because you be guys get to film at the CAC Center. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It. So we yeah. pretty much live there now. Uh, we've got like a little office space upstairs and stuff. So uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, we've done a podcast there with, um, what's his, what was it? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking legend. Yeah, he lives yeah. in uh, Canada now, I think. So. Oh, really? Yeah, we got him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we kind of fucked that his podcast up. So we went in there. The, the owner of Caxton wasn't happy. Yeah, I don't think we'd be allowed to saying, come on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we can record it elsewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just FaceTime. International waters. Just go across to Honeybees or something. Yeah. Set up shop. <laughs> Still on Caxton oh, Street. Yeah. Shit. So um, bloody brilliant beers. Was it like a beer? specific podcast to start with and and what is it now what is sort of now? was sort of was like meant to be um we actually started like a facebook page years ago back in 2019 to review craft beers oh uh, and that's when julian started making those yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's right he, uh, oh yeah. wow so that's yeah. when you guys okay yeah, yeah. yeah. Klutzer used to work at miss k's like a burger bar that had um craft beers on tap yeah and he'd send me snapchats of him reviewing them and these are beers that like for us, you know, we used to just drink yeah. your run-of-the-mill lagers and these were like sours and stouts and all that sort of shit that we'd never try. And he'd always make the reviews hilarious. Like some he'd be drinking from the taps after he was closing <laughs> up or blah, blah, blah. And um, I went to the bottle one day and I was like, fuck, maybe I should try one of them. But because our Snapchats, they were all gone. So I was like, shit, we should start a Facebook group where we can like post these videos and have a bit of a catalog. And we made it private at the start and it was like members could invite friends and it just like took off. And it was the same as us. Like we tried to stay away from, you know, the craft beer snobs talking yeah. about like mouthfeel and like shit you don't even fucking understand. Yeah. Just about is it good or not? There's and nothing like, worse than a craft beer wanker. Yeah. Like someone <laughs> yeah. who's just like going to tell you about mouthfeel and like, yeah, like it's a milkshake <laughs> IPA. It's like I don't give oh, a fuck. I don't like, think I've ever heard that, but that's yeah. Yeah. Oh, so weird. Gross. Yeah. It's just like there's a whole new world out there of just like 40-year-old men that get yeah. off to like talking about that sort of oh, stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah, we did that yeah. and then, yeah, it was just, again, like our mates and then they were inviting their mates. And it was everyone just doing the same thing. Like people were essentially just taking the piss out of it. Um, like Julian had his little character and there's another guy, Ryan Freni, who would like try these international beers and dress up in the country of origin, like put on an accent and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, they were yeah. pretty, pretty yeah. funny. So those sorts of things just like made the group explode. 
Um, and then off the back of it, we're like, fuck, we should be making more content. So we're like, let's start a podcast and vlogs. And the original idea was to go out to breweries in Brizzy and do a tour and sit down with the head brewer or whatever. But then COVID hit and we were like basically sitting on our thumbs doing nothing. So we just yeah. got on Zoom once a week, had a beer and talked shit and then that sort of took off. So yeah, wow. once COVID wow, lifted, we sort of binned all the... Well, I didn't bin it, but like, you know, yeah. our, our shit talk sort of overtook the craft beer stuff. Yeah. Um, and ten- so now it's just mainly just you guys shit talking. Literally, yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. And just yeah. trying new beers. Yeah, yeah, well, we don't even really try new beers. Oh, anymore. I can't remember the last yeah. time we tried a new beer on oh, yeah. So you guys so it's just like... fucking set. So like, <laughs> yeah. You don't need guests and shit. You just yeah. sit down and talk shit. That's kind of what we wanted as well. Yeah. But it's just yeah. a slow fucking grind. Yeah, yeah, it that's is. It. How long have you boys been doing it for now? We started the pod back in February 2020. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we probably, I think, what was it? Our first year, we had like 400 total listens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I remember and, so specifically, this is in COVID, just before COVID, my mum sold like our um, childhood house. So I had to move out and my missus and I were looking to rent somewhere. And then we both got stood down from our jobs and I was like, fuck me, I could end up homeless here. So I ended up moving in with her parents, lived there for like two years. And I was we were doing the podcast the whole time I was there and I'd like work all day, come home. And I remember one morning, it was like 2 a.m. on a Thursday and our SD card corrupted and like I lost the pod. And we've been going for like two years and I think we'd had like 1,800 total streams and I was like, what What the fuck am I doing this shit for? Like, this is actually bullshit. This sucks so much. So it was definitely like a massive grind. And as Klutzy said, he he came full-time in November last year. So that was what? Literally four years, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, pretty much. So... Um, um, yeah, it, it, it like took ages to get any sort of traction. Yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah, people realize with, time. with podcasts, hey, it's yeah. a fuck. You got to be consistent as shit because like this is our sixth season, and and like this year it's we're finally like like make making more than we're spending on it. Like yeah. for the first yeah. four to five years, it was just a fucking money. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> massive, <Yeah. shit> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it it's takes so a long fucked. time. Yeah, yeah, but that's it, awesome. Well, yeah. man, it would be. Imagine like plumbing, right? Like, you imagine oh, that, Matt, mate. being able to quit your job, Matt. That would have been crazy <laughs> good, eh? But you can't yet. <laughs> you're, you're still working. Maybe in like four more years or something, you'll get there. <laughs> we're not quite there yet, it's, Matt. You have to keep going to us and we're still fucking can't all do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, it is awesome. I went and saw some of the boys the other day on my way back from the um, from the boxing gym and Fuck, it's it's very humbling. I was um at the start of the year when it was pissing down rain. I used to have to drive home past one of the sites that I would have been working on. And I still distinctly remember there's this little fella, he's a school based apprentice. And um, just driving past the job site, it's pissing down rain, and he's just standing out in the rain with a shovel digging a hole. <laughs> I was like, that's meant to be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I was just like, uh, this is so <laughs> rocking, yeah. dude. Yeah, get a real <laughs> job. Oh. He's a fucking loser. <laughs> Next time you drive past him, throw a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, so we're, we're still the same because well, we used to be like tennis oh. coaches before yeah. we started making videos and like yeah. fucking hated that job so <laughs> intensely yeah. Yeah. that even like now, like – it still comes to mind like when we drive past a tennis court or see someone coaching, it's just have that shudder of yeah. fuck that that is not our life anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, oh, it was rough. I think the other thing is it's kind of weird like because it was, you know, four years or whatever, it's like and you have such small little jumps. Like it's not like one day you're working the next day like, oh, fuck yeah, we yeah. can quit our jobs. Yeah. Sometimes you forget that you're like, holy shit, this is our job. Like we got to go to Vegas for the footy this year. I woke up one morning and like we had a massive night night before and I had to like edit an ad or something. I was actually laying in bed. He's like snoring his head off, <laughs> editing this ad in Vegas. I'm like, what the fuck is going yeah, on? Like this so is good. wild. Had 10 so- prostitutes in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Um, so like it's still like, yeah, it's it doesn't feel that crazy. But when you look back, at like where we started and how we started, like holy fuck, it's actually pretty insane. Yeah, so, yeah we're, we're pretty is. lucky and pretty stoked. Yeah, yeah well, there awesome. you go, boys. Before we fucking just grind away, and here you are, very good. And now you've it. got to go into a boxing match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck me. We we're just saying before. I tell you what, like I can't wait for this fucking shit yeah. to be over. Same. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, so the pod, as you know, guys, the podcast royale. It's like all these Aussie podcasters coming together and fighting. The bloody brilliant beers, boys. You guys got roped, and you got you're doing single fights though right yeah, it's not a tag yeah. team for yeah. you guys yeah yeah and um so who are you guys fighting and how did you get roped into this um so i'm fighting tommy dahl from the alpha bikes podcast oh yeah okay. so um i was on site one day and tommy just called me up and was like yeah we're looking to do this fucking boxing event and 
It's like, you got a big buff head. I got a big buff head. I reckon we can just box on. It'll be pretty sweet. I was like, oh yeah, whatever. Didn't really think it'd come to fruition. And um, yeah, then all of a sudden he's like, bro, like this is going to happen. I was like, oh yeah. fuck, what have I signed myself up for? <laughs> well, I've never thrown a punch in my life, which was quite evident from my first Nitro boxing session. <laughs> Um, and from your last Nitro Boxing session. from my last and, and every single one. So, yeah, um, I was just like, oh, I'll stuff it. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Did you guys um, have to both agree together or was it like you approached individually? Uh, we were sort of approached individually. Yeah. Um, I was like, because I'm fighting Jace from the Reggie's podcast, never met him. But I'm the same. I've never, th- I've never even yelled at anyone, let alone thrown a punch in my life. Like, I said, fuck. But Tommy's like, yeah, this fight's happening, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be the only one to say no. Am I? Like, yeah. literally. So yeah. I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll just fucking do it. Yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, well, we'll like, see what happens. But. Michael was, yeah, so like, no, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing man, it for a long time. Tra- but so I was just training. Like, yeah, 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 fucking yeah. I. Mate, my whole mantra is like anti-training. So I still play footy down at the local club. Um, I play in a team where we haven't done a training or we've done one training session in the last five years. Oh, wow. And that one training session was for a semi final and we went on to lose that. <laughs> so we were like, obviously. You don't want to overthink s- it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm used to just rocking up, playing my sport, and then sinking piss and fucking off. You guys um, are. It's the it's, other yeah. shit thing about the whole. Like, we're fucking last yeah. on the yeah. night. So we're going to be sitting there shitting ourselves, <laughs> yeah. watching get knocked yeah. out all night and then we're yeah. just going to be sitting oh, there yeah. can't enjoy a beer yeah or, see that's know. why i think i'm fight number eight and he's number two and i was like oh wow. i'm hoping that like yeah, people are still done. lining up to get in and shit by <laughs> yeah. the time i'm done like yeah <laughs> yeah it's, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting experience so yeah it's quite surreal yeah do you guys know many like all the podcasts guys that, that, that are on there most of there's them a I fair think. few yeah I, well i don't know we like know of everyone obviously but we haven't met the boys from up in Cairns, which is almost a man podcast and they're fighting um bluey, bluey. and gabe yeah. from uh the daily blue news yeah, potty right. yeah we've met bluey we haven't met gay but then obviously we know um tommy and cam um who else is on I can't lukey lukey uh the cast patrol boys as well yeah. so there's a fair few that we've we've met um just a couple that we haven't met yet but it's i think it's gonna it be, a, be good, a good talk good spectacle um, yeah yeah it is gonna be fun you guys um you guys know the guys that we're fighting right you guys yeah we've met him yeah. yeah so knuckles is probably one of the loosest men um <laughs> I actually asked Curb the other day. I was like, whenever anyone asks me about him, I don't know how to describe him. And he was like, oh, I'll just say he's like shaped like a question mark and doesn't have an ass. And just like, oh, yeah. yeah just, <laughs> I was like, fuck, that's so rough. But he's so a lunatic, true. but I think we've got him to blame for this whole event. Like, yeah. Because I think it started out with the Alpha Blokes producer, Quinn, calling out the two flogs producer, Moose, and then Knuckles got wind of it and was like, this can be a thing. And I think originally he called out both of the inspired unemployed. Yeah, and Wendell Saylor. <laughs> yeah. well, Willie Mason, Willie Mason yeah, as well. Yeah, it yeah, might yeah, have been yeah. Willie Mason, yeah, yeah. So it's his fault all of this is happening. He's a fucking absolute <laughs> yeah. lunatic. But um, um and then yeah, the other fellow Brizy, we met him at the um Alpha Blokes Christmas party last year, and he's got the Dead Ass podcast. And um I think he's trying to like normalize death. Yeah, oh, I was like, oh, that's fuck. good. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, sweet. So if you guys had knowing what you know, and I know you guys haven't probably haven't seen Knuckles or Brizzy fight, but yeah. if you guys had a hundred bucks right now, who would you put your money on, them or us? Honestly, I'd be going to you boys. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah like hundred percent. It's hard to oh, tell. Wow. Brizzy is terrifying, I think, but I think yep. you definitely got Knuckles covered. Yeah, hundred um, percent. So I think I'm with Clutzy. Yeah, hundred bucks on, on yeah. you guys. But yeah, I'm, in saying that, the only time we met, as Clutzy said, we met him at a piss up. Like I was just telling Brizzy about how fucking scared I was of the thing, and he's got, got me doing drills in the back of the pub in Gladstone. Oh, so, see, like, so we. He- can box, yeah, so well, like, yeah, you know, well, so oh, man, you boys can anyone. as well, though. Like, yeah, that's we've been thing. down there watching, like, fuck, you can throw them, you can throw them. I was oh, copping them the other night, it was, um, it's been just, good yeah, fun. it's those, been, yeah, it's, fun, I love but, getting bashed in the face. <laughs> you know, what the worst thing is those Thursday night fucking sparring classes. <laughs> I've done two now, both times I've come away with a f- like, this is not the best podcast etiquette, but listen to this. Like, that's me. That's me trying to breathe through my nose because it's so Holy fucking shit. swollen. Yeah. Yeah. Still I was remember the yeah, other yeah. week, like when they had you going with all the different partners and stuff. Das is there, and um, he's like crouched down on the ground. I was gassed. I was fucked. I was like, oh well, we're gonna go together. So like, come on, mate. We'll just fucking have a go. And he gets up and looks around at me. He's just got blood pissing out his nose. I was like, this 
next five weeks could not <laughs> yeah, come quick enough. Like, man, and we yeah. were just there. It was like a gentleman's agreement. Yeah. And we were just like... Yeah. The softest <laughs> sparring you ever will see. Yeah. 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 Well, we, like we nearly pulled out. Like at the end of January, Michael had just dislocated his knee. Yeah. And I had all these weird heart shit going on. Yeah. So I literally couldn't even train. So yeah. we were like, Perfect. I reckon a week away from pulling the pin. But yeah. then we, we just kind of got our shit together and came good. But yeah, man, at the beginning... It's like it, the sparring was so like you do like one round and you're so fucked. It's, yeah. And it's then the coach is like, "What are you like? Like, what are you doing? Like, just yeah. throw more punches." You know what like, someone I said to me? Can't. <laughs> you know what someone I said can't. to me at that Thursday night class? It was one of the other people who trained at the gym. She goes, "Just pretend you're not tired." Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <what>? She said <laughs> that to me as well. I was like, I don't know. Well, I pretend about a lot of things. Yeah. It's like it's not. I can't <laughs> lift my <laughs> arm anymore. <laughs> my lead arm is like limp and like it's just it's fucked. Yeah. It is so f- no good. <laughs> Someone can tell you that you're not fucked, but yeah, as you said, when your arm physically can't raise above your hips, yeah. Yeah. you know you're fucked. Yeah, and we, because we're doing, we got tag team, obviously, but we got four two minute rounds, but we only get 30 seconds rest in yeah, between each rounds. That's right. brutal. So, but like, that's not even I, enough time to like get the headgear uh, off yeah, for exactly. some water Dude, or anything. I know, and the, yeah, the headgear gets so hot. Are, yeah. are you guys wearing headgear? Yeah, fucking. Oh, I don't yeah. Think, are we? I don't, I don't know. It I think depends if they are. Be, yeah. Oh, really? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. But, yeah okay. Well, well, that's all right. I kind of <laughs> like nice. it without the headgear, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Because you can see a bit better. I fucking yeah, hate I the... Apparently it doesn't do much. It just stops from cuts. Yeah, yeah. it just yeah. stops from cuts. It literally does Can feel exactly that. the it's, same. It's yeah. just like fucking headgear and football and stuff. Like in saying that, I would rather not get cuts. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's I'm just so worried because I've got my, my nose has literally been broken like three times in my life, just in different <laughs> yeah. spots. Yeah. So I'm just so worried about getting the perfect shot. It's like punching a shat like a shattered glass window yeah. like it'll just fucking yeah, it'll explode. explode yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Fuck. so Ooh. yeah i'm and, and like as yeah after sparring my nose is just fucked it's like i'm worst, picking yeah. like huge yeah. scabs out of my nose the for actual days. sessions i find not that bad but then i try and go to sleep that night and i'm like <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yeah. choking on a breath while i'm trying to fall asleep like it's i was trying to eat my lunch in the car on the way here and <laughs> i had to, to breathe stop. out of your mouth yeah because uh, exactly <laughs> my mouth i've got a mouthful of food i'm like holy shit i'm about to fucking die i just want to go to eat my lunch like oh. it's horrendous um I, I but yeah fucking, it should be a great night i fucking <laughs> hope it's i hope it's worth it because eh? oh, yeah. the only reason we really said yes because we're like you know we're, the podcast we know how much of a grind podcast yeah. and we don't really know many of the other aussie podcasters out there yeah. so yeah. we're like you know fuck it we'll meet we'll meet all the other boys and we'll we'll get some exposure and it's just turned into this terrifying now we're fucking main event thing yeah yeah, yeah. it's and it been it's like it was meant to happen last january now it's like april so it's just yeah. dragged Dude, out it was, so it much was, oh happen. my god so it was meant to happen um originally when they called us up they were like yep end of november or something like that and i was like holy fuck so i did the um with budgie smuggler did the australia's most ordinary rig in oh, 2022 yeah. i won that so i oh, ended really? up being, oh, yeah. 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 so i won oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it yeah, up. Cool and then work. in 2023, <laughs> last year, they had us doing the world's most ordinary rig. And they said the dates, and it was going to be a week after the world's most ordinary rig. I was like, there is no way I'll be doing any training or fitness <laughs> yeah. when trying to compete in a competition yeah, of autumn yeah. Holy shit. And I was like, fuck, I'm going to go in there and get pumped. But yeah. um, thank God they realized how big of an event it actually is to yeah. organize. So. Yeah, and that's the other thing. It's like, you know, you agree to it. And you're like, oh, you know, probably won't be that big a turnout. And then fucking 5,000 people yeah. Yeah. Sell. Like, who, who the f*** did that? Because it yeah. certainly wouldn't have been our fans buying that many tickets. Crazy. I think like it must be Tommy the Alpha and Cam's audience is pretty yeah. fucking yeah. wild, yeah. And I like, think that's got, nuts. I think yeah. they got pretty big plans, like not so much just around boxing, like maybe around boxing as well, but in the event space, I think they're pretty keen to like do some yeah. crazy stuff. And they sort of said to us, even like, because we sort of agreed to it straight away before it was a thing, and that, you know the blokes who said yes, you know they're going to be the first ones we go to next time we do something because there's plenty of people who didn't say yes, so. Yeah. Um, I'm stoked to be like a part of it um, in terms of like what they're doing. So I think it's going to yeah. be massive and awesome. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like getting my head punched in, not so much. I think, I think my biggest fear is like 
you know, going in there and then boom, knocked out in like 20 seconds. I so, reckon bring that on. So, like, <laughs> so yeah. like, it'd be nice least, for it yeah, just to be over done. that quickly. Yeah, yeah. Or just walk in with your hands down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because like, it'd be such a shame because then you look like such a piece of shit. Yeah. And no one can even see that you've done any training. Yeah. Because you yeah, just knocked yeah. down exactly. straight away. I said to the coaches when we started um, training, I said, as long as I'm not like that dude who's running away in the corner, then I'll be happy. Like, I can just yeah. stand there and eat him at least. I'll be happy. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fucking yeah, well, look, uh, like we said, the tickets are sold out, but there is a pay-per-view, all right, yeah. we, and it, it will be in the link of this episode. So if you want to buy the ticket, I, I think it's like 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah 30 something bucks. like that. 30 bucks, you can watch all of us get in the ring and fucking either beat the shit out of someone or get the <laughs> shit beaten out of <laughs> yeah, us. Exactly. I'm so keen to see your fight just from like a, like how the fuck it's going to work. <laughs> yeah, Because yeah. oh, you, know, oh, when you like, team. know when you're like, you like, like when someone's punching you, you're trying to get out of the way. Like how does it, there's a bit of a gray area with the tag, right? Yeah, like, we asked the other day. Yeah, we called Buster and, and he was like, um, yeah, I was like, oh, so how's it work? And so all four of us are in the ring. <laughs> so two of us will be like in, in the in the corner and then yeah. the, the two are fighting, obviously. And then when you want a tag, you just kind of turn around and, right. and go on. And then the ref will come in and stop it. But oh, like, okay. Oh, so the ref right. stops it when you swap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but okay. like, you know, as soon as someone lands a good <laughs> shot, could you then go, stop, stop, <laughs> you know, no, one well, good yeah, shot. Yeah, run quickly. away. And he's just a, chasing uh, after you. <laughs> Yeah, as they're yeah. about to finish a combo off, yeah. you just put your hand up and say you want to tag. Yeah, holy shit. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, it's a good idea, <laughs> right? Because said to me the other day, he's like, holy shit, imagine like, say like Knuckles or Brizey's coming at you and then they sort of throw a punch, but you're within tagging distance. Tag the other bloke in. He's just bound up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll just we kind just... of hang back near Michael yeah. and then tag him and then fucking yeah. bang over my shoulder. Yeah. be so I'll fucking be funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually going to be very interesting, so I'm very keen so, to see it. I'm most keen to see the where, where they're blindfolding yeah. fucking six or Bro, seven dudes. That sounds Like, who the fuck is that allowed? allowed to that? I, I don't know. Like, that would terrify me because, you know, like with any sort of any sort of impact and pain and shit like that, if you can see it coming, it's nowhere yeah. near as bad. Oh, yeah. 100%. If you cannot We've protect done experiments. yourself, like, yeah. I can We're imagine. Fatal. Yeah. Like, imagine. Someone's going to die. <laughs> we were talking about it the other day. From the start, they said to us in the gym, just keep, like, don't turn your head because the punches that hurt the worst are the ones you can't see. And yeah. these poor be able to see any of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's going to be brutal. Oh. Man, I, I think I just stand in the middle and do like the helicopter. Yeah, just just yeah, around. Yeah, Hope to my kick, arms are the like little hills <laughs> hoist or something and just fucking keep going around. Imagine like falling out of the ring. I'd be fucking terrible. I'd be 10 times more scared to do that than what yeah. we're doing. For sure. Yeah, yeah, fucking hope. And then we got the after party. You guys coming to the after party? Yeah, we'll be there for a bit. We've got a, whole, we've got a fair few mates coming down. Um, so I think we're going to go to the after party for a bit and then probably just go to a pub somewhere and get yeah. real pissed so I, I plan, I'm fighting second so I plan to be real pissed by the time yeah, it ends man, anyway like, so. it's kind of yeah. tempting to just start drinking halfway make it through easier. the night yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. numb the pain so of just yeah. get in there yeah. fucking absolutely written shit faced yeah <laughs> Turn it on the rums or something. Yeah. Yeah. We should do three pingers. Yeah. I don't reckon. I reckon Knuckles won't be sober for the fight. Like I reckon he'll be under the influence. Of, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, 100%. fuck. If he's having a drink, then I would probably have one with him. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, a to know each other before. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Love you, man. <laughs> yeah, because we went on his podcast, and everyone always says how much of a fucking legend he is. Yeah. yeah. And that, it's, it's kind of shit because he is a fucking legend. But yeah. then you have to go in there and kind of put that aside. Side That's the yeah. thing, like Tommy, who I'm fighting, I've become great mates with over the years. We all started the podcast game around the same time. And um, he said to me, he's like, oh, I'm just going to pretend that you've said something about like my family or something like that <laughs> um, so that I try and get angry to fight you. <laughs> so like when we started doing all like the call outs and stuff, my thing was I just complimented him on how great of a father he is <laughs> just to try and be like well you can't really use that now because I think you're a great, great dad dude you should lash out at his yeah. family <laughs> there was fuck your mum <laughs> you got four kids you're gonna fucking see daddy go to bed bro <laughs> like, oh, I'm their new dad yeah. when, we, when, we, when we went up we went to Gladstone for their Christmas party and I have videos on my phone of these two this is like what the start of December or something yeah these two like squaring up at the pub like in each other's face and then there's a photo from like three o'clock the next morning it's him 
Tommy and Tommy's wife just on the dance floor of some Fucking club hugging yeah. each other. <laughs> <laughs> Human centipede. Yeah. 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 Just, just like, having a good fuck. groove. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, oh, fuck. This. So, yeah. yeah, it's going to be very interesting. It'll be but, good. Uh, this will be the one and only time I fucking 100%. do it. And then after that, I'll hang my amateur boxing gonna gloves You're going to do like the, the UFC um, retirement, like gloves in the middle of the ring. Like, that'll, <laughs> yeah. that'll be it for me for sure. It is going to be like, as, as daunting as it is, it's pretty cool to like yeah. walk out. There's going to be so many fucking thousands well, of people. I think yeah, if, we, if we like took the proper amateur boxing route, imagine how many fights you'd have to have to oh, fight yeah. in front oh, of 5,000 people. The amount people, of bikes like, would never get to that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah exactly right. hundred percent. Most pros. Like, yeah. Isaac Hartman was saying like, you guys sold that out real, like, yeah. really quick. Yeah. That's, yeah. Not, that's unheard of in the boxing world. Yeah. yeah. That's what, when we were over in Vegas, one of the boys was talking about it to one of the boxing promoters he knows over there. And he was saying like how many people and how quick they sold it out. And he was just proper gobsmacked. Yeah, he's like, they're not cheap. Because yeah. Knuckles said, Knuckles was like, oh, it's the fastest uh, selling boxing fight in Australian history. And this guy was like, no, it's not. Like, that's bullshit. And he's like, how many tickets you sell? And I was like, oh, like 5,000. And he's like, in how long? And I was like, oh, 12 hours. He's like, oh, actually, yeah, that probably is the fastest yeah, selling boxing fight. Which is like, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He said it's not the biggest. Like, they've yeah. obviously, Jeff Horn fought at Suncourt, which is like 50,000. Yeah. But in terms of selling out, Apparently, it's one of the fastest in Australian yeah, history. So it's just mental. Yeah. I wonder how the pay per view will go. <laughs> well, they someone re- told me they reckon they can get 50,000 people. That's fucking on the wild. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go to that class. We, got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got told too that, that, um, that Knuckles, he's like, he's bought like a fucking half the tables oh. for his like mates and family. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So they're, they're going to be like, well, I reckon we're going to get fucking booed as we yeah. walk out. Oh, oh, I already shit. know I'm going to be copping a lot of yeah. shit. I've been. A lot of the Alpha Bikes community has oh, been uh, true, commenting on. Oh, oh my god, dude. Oh, mate, we can see, post anything. Like, could be a photo of me and like Tommy's <laughs> gonna put Clutch to sleep. Like, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Something the other day, someone we asked about something, and he's like, "Oh, there's three things. Where'd the leaves come from? Tom Dial's gonna fucking punch your head in, and you're gonna leave in a stretcher." And I was yeah. like, <laughs> "What?" Can- yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck man. Oh, charming. Oh, man. Just, yeah, just charming. insane. I think by that stage of the night that you guys are fighting, if Knuckles has got tables, then yeah, you'll be copying a barrage. Yeah. 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 And, a, yeah. and they didn't want to give too much away, but apparently his walkout is something to behold as well. Yeah, oh, right. He couldn't tell hell. us, but yeah. yeah he's got like half of our fucking mates from high school walking out with him. Yeah, so I was like, true. fuck it. All the boys are coming down. I was like, a pretty cool experience. Just grab everyone in there. I don't know if I told you this, but one of my mates, Jonesy, messaged me. He's like, do you reckon I could carry an urn out? Like fucking the Undertaker dude when Clutzy walked out. So it's going to be fucking weird. Just kind of the ashes yeah, amongst literally, yeah. the crowd. Oh, it's going to be bizarre. So funny. I think our mates have um, booked a limo and stuff. Yeah, so, so I'm staying with a bunch of the boys at Burley down there uh, and my missus, which she's thrilled about. And... um. <laughs> Yeah, I think they've organised like a limo and they're all going out to buy like outfits to come down in. So oh, I'm like, really? Fuck. See, we should have done it like that. Yeah, that does Ridiculous. sound fun. I think they're getting like, you know, like the old school like boxing people at the front with the weird coats and shit. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think they're getting that sort of vibe. So <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, knowing our mates, it could be fucking anything. So yeah, I'm pretty usually. excited to see what happens, but. Should be good. Yeah. <laughs> Should be good. Yeah, well, there you go. So uh, the 27th of April. Guys, if you want to have a watch, pay-per-view link is in the description. Boys, thank you very much for coming on. If you want to listen to the Bloody Brilliant Beers podcast, you can find them on Spotify, uh, iTunes, where where else is best to see you YouTube, guys? Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Yeah, YouTube, TikTok. Instagram. Yeah, a bit of TikTok. It's we got Bloody Brilliant Beers pretty much everywhere. So yeah. wherever you can search it, you'll find us, hopefully. Well, yeah. there you go, guys. If you want to hear a bit of shit talking, a bit of beer reviews, go and give the boys a follow. Um, and yeah, watch us have a brawl on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's this week. Yeah. Is yeah, it, yeah. Fuck. Fucking hell. Crazy. <laughs> Came up quick. Oh, Okay. When we told the boys in the gym, like, oh, we got like 16 weeks. And they're like, that's going to come up quickly. And we're like, ah, we'll be right. So, oh, fucking hell. Well, anyway. I don't like thinking about it. Anyway, let's <laughs> Training session, Sabo. Yeah, Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Cheers, Thanks, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Right, have a bong break. We'll be right back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> bong break. I love that. It's your fun. time is yeah, ready for yeah, us to time. waste. Picking Nile, up the phone was your first mistake. Ha, ha, annihilate ha, ha. the humans. It's prank. <laughs> and this humans. is a segment where we prank call someone, all right? Now, 
We've had a lot of interest. We've had a lot of intrigue and hype around the do a shit prank call that we did a couple of weeks ago. Mm. People are saying do a shit left, right, and center. Mm. So we thought, look, let's ride this wave of do a shit mm. all the way into shore and we're going to do it again. We're going to call businesses and I'm going to try and convince them to do a shit. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Hit it, Marty. This is the ultimate. If I can get someone to do this, like that's the ultimate. That's the goal of this prank call is to see if someone actually yeah, does yeah. see do if someone shit. does a shit. All right, so I'm going to start by calling a library. Good afternoon, library. This is Natalie. Hey, Natalie. Um, I'm just. You, do you guys have um, like many books on like history and stuff? Is there a big history section at that library, or should I try one of the other ones? Well, you can put like the holds are free, so you can put anything on hold you want to to come through to here oh. if you need. So if we don't have what you want here, then you can pop something on hold to come through from anywhere within the region. Are there, are so, there, are there many? Can, so, sorry to interrupt. Are there many like uh, people in there at the moment? Many people at the library? Well, it is school holidays, so uh, let me have a look. Pretty busy. Oh, you know what would be so funny if it is busy? Oh, wait, do a shit. I reckon if there's if there's uh, if, if there's no one around, nah, if no one probably. can see you, no one can see you right now. I reckon, I reckon do do a little shit and just see what happens. Like imagine people's faces if you did a, like a shit and just don't even mention it. I don't think it's really appropriate to talk oh, to me like that. I'm really oh, sorry. No, yeah, no, no, it's not, I don't it's find not, that funny at all. Oh, no, no, it's, no. It's, so if you, you, you want to, as, as I've said to you, if you want, if you want any history books, we do have history books down here. If you need anything else, then you can pop something on hold. So okay. if you want to pop down, yeah, I might, um, I might girls, come down. Yeah. Give you a help with that. Yeah, no yeah. worries. All right, well, okay. It, so it was just, okay. you, you can see how it'd be funny though if you like if you did a, like because no one would expect you if you did a shit and like they would see it and be like, what the hell, and then you. You just don't um, mention anything about it. Like you can see how that would be funny, though, right? Um, <laughs> did you not understand what I was saying to you that it's not appropriate? Oh, yeah, to I'm so, talk I know. I'm sorry. About it's just, that to it's me. just so funny to me yeah. if, if that happened. If you did a sh- if you did a shit, it would just be so yeah. funny. That's all. Sorry. That's all. Who yeah. am I talking to? Arkle. Arkle. Okay. But anyway, I was just a joke. Like I'm just, I was just thinking out loud. Sorry, I've just got a weird sense of humor. I just thought it would just because you're in a library right now. Okay, I just well, thought it would just, be so just, funny just, to do this shit. Just bear enough. Just bear in mind that it's not appropriate, and you're not. Please uh, don't speak to any of the rest of my staff like that. Okay. Okay. All right. No worries. I, I won't okay, make those jokes anymore. You. Sorry. So I'm sorry if that upset no. you. No. Okay. Yep. All right. No, thank that's you. okay. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you Bye-bye. so much. Thanks for your time. Do a shit. Oh my god. Oh. That is rough. It is, Whoa. Like, it is rough with women. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Indeed. Oh man, <laughs> fucking she took that like a champ. Oh man. Okay, let's not call. Let's call someone where there's a man working. I'm not doing women anymore. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. It's, you it's, fucking it feels, sexist people. No, I just I don't want them to think women that deserve the same treatment of, as men. I don't want them to think that like it's some kind of Sexual weird thing. fetish thing yeah, or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Kevin, Nikki speaking. Uh, um, hey, I was just wondering, are you guys open for uh, lunch for long? Uh, we close at 2.30. So. Okay, okay, sweet. Yeah, so is there, is, is there many people in there at the moment? No, not really. Oh, man. You want to be like, I've got a weird sense of humor, but it'd be so funny. Imagine if you if you did a shit, like if no, one, no one's around to see it and you just do a shit and like film it and stuff. And then like imagine what people would think when they see that. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting. Is that what you're planning to coming and do? No, no, no. I was just like thinking like it just sort of came into my head how fucking funny that would be if you just did a shit like without even saying anything and then like didn't even mention it and like just let like the staff and like the the patrons just kind of come across it. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Anyway, all right, well, I'll leave you to it. But yeah, I just want uh, probably not at this stage. I might come tomorrow though. No problem. We'll see you then. Uh, See you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she just thinks that that's a normal guy. It's just that, that thought pop into his head. <laughs> Fuck me, there's got to be a bloke. Surely there's got to be a bloke. We could try a service station again. But I'm like. 
Hey, bro. Um, I was just uh, calling to check if you've got certain types of beer. Do you guys have those ton beers, like spelled T-U-N? Uh, say again, sorry. I'm just, was that? just checking if you guys have a certain type of beer I'm after. It's it's uh, called ton, T-U-N beer. Do you guys have that in stock at all? No, we don't. I'm sorry. Uh, that's I can't say that I've seen it at... Like at any of our stores, sorry. I don't think I've seen it around before. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe it's only in select ones, but that's okay. I might come in anyway. Um, You guys have a pretty big beer selection, hey? Yeah, sorry. In this store in particular, we don't have that big of a beer selection. It's more of a, a wine retailer. Oh, but okay. at our parent store, Harry Brown's, in oh. is definitely a... um. Oh, so yeah, there's definitely like, a larger selection of beer. Oh, so there's more like people like who like like wines and stuff, like rich kind of people coming to your bottle and more for wines and stuff. Is that is that more the client? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, you know what would be so yeah, so sure. funny? Imagine, oh, wait, ima- you don't have to do this. Just be a funny idea. Imagine if you did a shit, did a shit at, well, like while you're working and don't even mention it to anyone. Like just do a shit behind the, the behind the bar and then like don't say anything and then just let customers come in and like like those pretentious wine customers come in and then smell it and then just don't even say anything but you've done a shit in there. Do, dude, do a shit and film it. Trust me, it'd be so funny. Hello? Uh, hello? It's, uh, the calls are kind of breaking up for some reason. Oh, did you hear what I said? I just had a really funny idea. Can you hear me? Uh, uh one second. Let me move, let me move around and see if I can get okay, some better yeah, reception. Yeah, yeah, get in a better position. I can hear you, but it's very, so it sounds so broken. Oh, really? That's so weird. That's perfect reception where I am. Can you hear me now? Oh, random. Um, oh, I wish you could hear what this sounds like. Is <laughs> uh, so yeah, sorry. But, like, I can, I can almost hear what you're saying. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Right now. What about now? Is that is it is it? Oh, much better. Oh, okay. <laughs> shit. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Oh, yeah. but yeah, I was, okay. oh man. So sorry. Oh, yeah. I just had this funny suggestion before. I don't know if you heard me, but like, you know how it's all like wine people to come in and shit. Like, you yeah. should do do a shit behind the counter. Like, do a shit, and then don't even say anything, and then just like see their reactions when they come into the store, and then they smell the shit. It'd be fucking <laughs> hilarious, bro. If you just did a shit like back where you're working, and don't let anyone see it. Like film it and shit, but don't let anyone see you shit. But do a shit and see what people do. That's a horrible idea. Bro, bro you, that would seriously be so funny, bro, if you did a shit. Seriously, film it. If you film it, bro, I'll fucking post it too. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's a, that's a horrible idea. Boy, bro, you can tell it would be so funny though, right? Can you imagine just some stranger lady comes in, middle-aged lady, looking for like a nice bottle of red, and then there's a massive shit just on the fucking floor, and like you don't even mention it, bro. That would be so funny. Imagine seeing her face. <laughs> Those half the customers smell like that. Yeah, bro, it would be so fucking funny. That would be worth it, man. It's just an idea, but if you want to get a laugh, seriously, do a shit. If you want to get a laugh, do a shit. Okay, okay. I'll take your word for it. All oh, right, oh, bro. Well, let me know how you go with it, bro, because that's hectic. But yeah, man, I might come in. I might not. I'm not really a fan of the wines, but I reckon do a shit. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, Anything else I can help you with? No, bro. If you could just do a shit, that would be awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much for it. For sure. All right, thank you. No worries. Thank I'll get you, it bro. Done. No, no. <laughs> film it. <laughs> film it for me. Yeah. All right, see, <laughs> see you later. See you, bro. No way, dude. Oh, my God. He was so wonderful. He sounds like he has our sense of humor. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that would That's be fun. horrible. If he just <laughs> fucking sneaks off and does a massive shit. In the middle of the bottle shop, uh-huh. and it just runs back behind his counter and acts as if nothing's oh, happened. Dude. <laughs> dude. It was so convincing because you're like trying to get the rich wine people. Like, <laughs> oh wow, man. Oh, oh. that is honestly, oh, I could hear that forever. If we just <laughs> went on like a infinity of just calling up random numbers and just fucking go on calling a, up on a tour around Australia and just call out lots of different businesses and tell them to do shit <laughs> face to face all right guys thank you for listening to episode number 11 please leave a like and a leave a subscribe like leave one here in the room with us have a comment have a comment and then a five-star review on Spotify if you could do those things just one of them one of those things big help
It's so easy. It's just click of the button and then you fucking move on with your life. It takes you two seconds and it helps us beyond beyond and if you're bored send us send us a treasure in the mail if you want send mm. us more voicemails shit's getting hectic fucking comment some shit have a fucking chat with us send us a picture of your balls and dicks stretched against glass p.o box yeah. 256 tagum 4018 queensland australia send michael weird shit we we're got the, the apple in the foreskin anyway w- sorry we're the, we're the best 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 we're the